what's up welcome back to my channel so today i've got a video for you and i'm here with my lovely model alice isn't she pretty like she is so gorgeous like i love her face and i want to play with her face again but anyway back to this makeup first thing the most important thing is skin prep um prepping the face of your color it's a very very key essential to um, a long lasting makeup application so on Alice's face I um, applied some moisturizers and some um, glow um, moisturizer as well she has dry skin so I used the Pond's hydrating primer on her skin and on her brows I used the uh, Pond's uh, vanishing um, cream for dry, for oily skin on her brows then moving on to skin my skin work um, I'm going to do foundation, highlight and low light on her skin. Um, for foundation, I use black opal stick foundation and I also mixed it with a little bit of Estee Lauder and another type of foundation, I'm not too sure, um, I think it was MAC, yeah, MAC Waterproof Nourishing um, Foundation because she said she had dry skin so I had to put some things into perspective because I need her face to be hydrated while I was getting her makeup done and I'm just going to blend it out. Guys, blending is key and also yes, the sun like natural lightning and uh the a little there's a little bit of lightning issues but um we came we saw we conquered so i really apologize if it gets dark it won't be and light another bit it's not my fault it's just the way the light the sun was reflecting from behind anyway i'm just going to highlight and um low light um i highlighted using this nyx um concealer and it's so good then i went in using my kevin or consensual skin enhancer um even alice was asking what concealer is that <laughs> it is so good like oh my god i love kevin or consensual skin enhancer it looks pricey but it's amazing then i'm just going to blend out um all the highlights and the highlighted areas which is underneath her brows um uh, her forehead um the bridge of her nose um then underneath um her eyes and cupid's bow and underneath her chin then i went in using a beauty blender to blend that out to make it seem flawless normally i would contour before i mean i would low light before i highlight sometimes I, it, whichever one flows for me at the time of when i'm working on um the person's face and i just wanted to let you know that blending is key you need to blend 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 i can't stress how much blending will give you how much if you blend like it would give you such a flawless finish so um i went to using beauty blender from real techniques um i'll suggest beauty real techniques beauty blender h&m's beauty blender and the original um beauty blender it's a little bit pricey so the real techniques beauty blender is an all-time fave then i'm just going to blend that low light out um using just the brush to blend that out and i um went in using my beauty blender again just to make sure that everything is blended out as you can see her skin is looking flawless um right about now so um yeah so you can see where it's highlighted you can see where it's low lighted and like how flawless that finish is and i went in to do a reverse contour um this part is optional you don't have to do it if you don't want to but i decided that you know what since we're going for a very very like glamorous look why not just go out with the whole works so i'm gonna set that using my ben nye two pass powder i'm gonna set everywhere highlighted on her face using the two pass powder um or finishing powder depending on how light or dark you are the finishing powder or setting powder will vary if you're on the lighter side you might want to use Laura Mercier. If you're on the darker side, you might want to use um, Topaz powder. Um, if you're in between, you can stick with Sasha Buttercup. I ended up using the two on her. This is a technique, a personal technique that I like to use. Maybe one day when I'm doing my, if I have time to do a highlight and contour routine for you guys, I'll explain to you the reasons why I went in with two powders. Um, how I normally go in with two powders. And I'm going to set the low lighted areas and I'm using this powder, Maybelline powder. I got it from Nigeria um, and it's amazing. I use the dark shade anyway. This is a finishing powder. 
and I went in then using my House of Tara powder palette um, to set all over her face. This powder palette is life and after life. If you're a makeup artist, you know the shit and I eat with this House of Tara palette from Nigeria. Then I went in to just um, set and dissolve like the face um, with all the whole powder stuff using my trusted Maribedescu spray. You guys know how much I love that spray. Then I'm going to go in with a brows and I'm using my book brow pencil. And normally I just like to go in with the natural shape of the client's brows or the model's brows I don't really like to do anything too dramatic or too big or anything like that so she tends to have a skinny brow so I just went in and filled that out and then cleaned it up on the bottom I didn't really clean it on the top because there was really no need Moving on to the eyes, I decided that I was going to peel it with pink glitters and then I used the OPV more just palette for this and um, I I don't even know what technique I used with the eyes. I know the techniques, but I don't know how to explain it to you guys on YouTube. But anyway, I went in using some primers, eyeshadows, glitter, and the glitter glue I used was amazing. The NYX glitter glue, guys, you need that glitter glue in your collection if you love to use glitters um, on your eyes. Minimal fallout. Then I went into eyes using this um, lashes for her on AliExpress. You guys know about these lashes by now. If you still don't know about these lashes, I should literally like we should we should have a beef right about now. Um, then I lined her waterline using the Marbrook um, black pencil. Then I did that a little bit of a wing liner. I'm gonna give her a little bit of a blush, you know, blush of, a touch of color back onto the cheek. So I'm using some nice pinky orangey blusher. Then I'm going to highlight, which is my favorite part. I went in a little bit with the high, over the top with the highlight here, but I, you know, fixed it anyway. Moving on to the lips, I knew that I wanted something still pink, but not too pink. So I went onto the like brown, I said brown, sorry, the purple, um, the purple side. Um, but I decided to give her an ombre lip. Um, I was thinking of going for pink lips, you know. But anyway, moving on to the gilly. Um, this is um, Alice's gilly. Um, it's a gold gilly. And this gilly is actually quite big, but I didn't make it too big. I just made it quite like... Um, what did I say? I didn't make it small either. I didn't make it too big. I just made it just right because of her head and her face shape. Because I didn't want to do something too big and then it makes the gilly big and then her face small. So I had to do something that was in proportionate with her face with this gilly. So this is how the gilly is. I know you guys want the gilly tutorial. I'm trying to get someone who would be able to sit down in my chair and you know get that done. And that's the finished look, guys. I really hope you enjoy it for bookings um, all across the UK. I'm available to travel. I'm available to travel around the world. I'll leave my contact details down below. So make sure you guys follow me on my social media and um, give us a like and um, contact us for your booking. And I'll talk to you guys later. Bye. All the party way then they do for Lagos City. Now that way you go find the money receive. She know they carry last year, she know they carry. Yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, kill on what carry. Every night.